All right, guys, welcome, welcome. <clears throat> Nine people in. Make sure you say hi, say something. Uh, let me know if you had a homework question from last night or uh, answer my question. Who would win? The fight, the Powerpuff Girls or Kim Possible? Let's see if you guys uh, watched that uh, when you were kids. Afternoon, Samuel. Hey, Lucas. Welcome, welcome. All right. Who would win? Owen is here. Welcome against your will. Hi, Ruth. Hey, Jared. Hey, Erica. Erica, now you have a picture on YouTube. There you go. get going in about a minute here guys so just uh give me a minute i'm just gonna grab a glass of water and i'll be uh, i'll be right back and then i gotta read sam's message How is the vid not working, Larissa? Hey, Crystal. Welcome, welcome. All right, let's see. Depends if Frodo is fighting the lust for the ring because that always makes him more vicious. Otherwise, I think Sam would win. <laughs> oh, that's great. I love that. Yeah, he is a little bit evil, isn't he? And Sam likes him too much. They're too good, uh, too good of buddies. So I think it'd be a, it'd be a tough fought battle. I don't think he has the uh, ferocity. You're right. If if Frodo is thinking about the ring, I think he'd be Dunskis.
Erica, yours won't load. That's interesting. I am just going to see if I can, uh, okay. Send this to Erica. Mm -hmm. Erica, where are you? Chapter four, no, chapter five. Yeah, five. Erica, I do see it in there. Oh, never mind. Well, now you got two, so sorry. Uh, alrighty, cool. Benjamin, you're not supposed to use that word. I'm gonna put you in timeout. Ben's in timeout for 300 seconds. <laughs> it's funny that it like counts it down too and then he's allowed to type again. I don't know. I think that's just such a silly feature. Like <laughs> who cares? Uh, Zion, he can ask it in 300 seconds. That's not a big deal. Plus he deserves it. So that's fine. Alrighty, so uh, let me know if you guys have a homework question. Uh, from last night. No big deal. I'm just gonna open up my attendance here while you guys are checking out your homework to see just go here, moving this, <laughs> uh, Kendra makes a great point. <laughs> uh, okay, so I did see Jared, I did see Sam, I have not seen Teddy yet, Teddy if you can let me know that'd be great, Crystal I saw, Yuli I have not seen yet so let me know. Uh, Kathleen I saw earlier. Oh, hey, Teddy. Welcome. Uh, I believe I've seen Kathleen in this chat as well. Let's see. She was in my friggin' grade 11 class, but she's not here yet. Oh, wait. Did I just see her? Yeah, I did see. Johnny Bravo. Yep. Katrin. Uh, did I see Katrin? Let me know. Kit Kat Cat. Hop on in. Uh, Maddie, uh, did I see you? Yep, awesome. Thank you, thank you. Hey, Katrin. Uh, SJ, I do not see you, sir. Sadie, I'm still waiting on you as well. Sorry about your connection, Katrin. Uh, Zion, I've seen a couple times. Ruth, I saw early on. Owen, I saw. Ben's in timeout, probably off soon. Hey Sadie, welcome, welcome, here you are. Uh, Larissa is here. Connection seems to be fixed. I believe I saw Lucas early on. Where is that Shrek looking thing? Yep, there he is right off the bat. Oh, hey SJ, welcome man. Uh, and Erica I saw as well, she now has a picture. Easier to kind of make uh, uh, kind of differences, see that. Uh, and Kendra is here as well, so only missing from what I can tell Oh, and never mind, I see you, Lee, as well. So actually got everybody, love that. My bad, sorry, Lee, I didn't see that right off the bat. There's a lot of names, right, and a lot of doubles, so sometimes it's hard to see. Um, anyways, I'm happy uh, I'm happy we're all here, guys. Uh, so from yesterday, let's, uh, let's share with you here. Do, 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 do. If 
for looking at this. I believe we were doing 5.4, and I asked you guys to take a look at two. Whoa, that was more than I planned. Um, were, they, were they easy? I can't even remember now. Let's take a look. Uh, let's open up our textbook here. Four point five. No wait, I think it was chapter five. Five point four, maybe. Kendra says they were pretty quick. So what was it again? It was uh, two ninety to two ninety three, two three five eight and nine. Two ninety to two ninety three, two three five eight and nine. Okay, so were any of those ones, guys? You can send me a message on Teams. I notice I have a message now as well. <laughs> ben sent me a Teams message like right away that said, seems like a little much, don't you think? Can you still see me? Or did I kick you? I don't know. Yeah, he can. <laughs> He's off timeout. We're back to whatever his little... What What is your picture? Is it like Kermit the Frog? <laughs> yeah, Kendra's like, oh gosh, Ben's back. So I, I'm waiting for any message on um, <laughs> uh, Teams or on our chat just to see if you guys want me to take up any of those questions because I know sometimes I fly through that. Okay. All right, here, let's try this. As a little warm up today, let's see how much you guys know. If I said, uh, come up with um, an equation where I want you to give me two separate, they're not the same line, two separate parallel lines. So type in two equations. Type two, I'm gonna type it out, type two y equals mx plus b equations that are different or parallel. I want you to type that either in chat for me or in Teams. Send me a message in Teams if you're like, not sure you're gonna get the right answer or type a message in chat. So type your two equations out. So for instance, I could type y equals 2x plus 3 and then y equals another one. Try and make them two separate, different, sorry, different and parallel. And parallel. I want them to be parallel but be different. Two parallel, remember parallel means parallel. So I've got one coming in from Kendra here. Give me another one, Kendra, that would be different from that one. And I want everyone to do that. I want to see it from all of you either in chat or in Teams. It's my way of doing attendance. I'm gonna mark you absent unless you do this. Let's go, send it. SJ's giving me two as well, thank you SJ. This is my attendance, I should do this at the start of every class. It's like a still skill testing question. That's okay Kendra, you thought it was just gonna like pop on down to the next line, eh? no problem, no problem. All right, so I've got uh, single equations from uh, Sadie and Jared. Let's see their second equations. I've got one message in Teams. Let's see. Awesome, thanks, Teddy. That's perfect. Yeah, yeah, you guys are killing it. What's your second one? 
Zion, y equals zero and zero equals y are the same equation. <laughs> I want them to be, sorry, same, same line. Do two different lines, two separate lines. All right, let's try a few of these. Let's try a few of these. So what I want you to do right now in your own um, in your own space, I'm still missing a few people and I don't have Teams message. So I'm gonna go and adjust attendance. If I did not get a message from you either privately in Teams or here, I will mark you absent. It doesn't even have to be right. You just have to send it to me. Okay, send me two equations. Or just send me, I don't know. Send me, I don't know. Privately. You don't have to tell everyone, the whole class, that you don't know. Okay, so what I want you to do right now is uh, to follow up with this. Let's open up Desmos. And I want you to start, like, I'm just going to refresh Desmos because um, I've got all these other graphs on here. Okay, so I want you to graph your two lines. So if your two equations were y equals 0 and x equals 0, are those parallel? Or are they something different that we're going to talk about later? I saw a bunch of people's. Right, like if I take uh, if I take Sam's for instance, Sam wrote y equals three x plus four, and Sam also wrote y equals what was his other one, three uh, x plus five. So those lines, they're side by side, they're parallel, right? What did you guys notice? It was a, it was a theme. It was a theme, um, where uh, basically. Most people, it wasn't everyone's, but most people's answers had this in common. What would you guys say? What was the theme? What did they need to have? Check the constant change, and yeah, just like SJ's saying, and Teddy's saying, and what Larissa said, and what she said. And sorry, I, I'm so bumped down. Uh, Kendra said M stays the same, but the B changes. Yeah, so you guys remember M is the slope, right? So parallel, I'm thinking they're running beside each other. And uh, these ones, how do I make that slope look the same like this? It's all it's reverse for me, so my brain's all weird, but yeah, right there, the slope, uh, because they're the same then it'll have the same m value, right? So I could make these 3x minus 10, and the slope is still the same, right? The slope is still 3. I could also do the same thing with negative slopes, right? Let's change both of these slopes here to minus 3 even. So I go minus 3x, and you see there, now the slopes are not the same, right? One has a slope of minus 3, and one has a slope of 3. So what am I going to do in order to make... Sorry, where the heck is my mouse? There it is. Then the same, well, I just make sure my slopes are the same. So you can see now both slopes are the same. They're both negative, uh, and so they'll be the same. Uh, ben says triple dot, triple triangle dot, the M remain the same, the base has changed. So Ben is being fancy, he says, therefore, the slope stays the same. So what you need to do is you need to make sure that your slopes are the same. I'm just going to uh, adjust my attendance. What you guys can do for me here, it's going to mark a few people absent that did not reply to me. Makes me know that they are just logging in and not 
staying around, which is not fun. It's not the point of this. Uh, just a couple people, though. You guys did good. So let's go attendance. Let's adjust that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Sorry, sorry about that. All right. So, um, yeah, basically, if you go to our note today, we're going to look at how do you determine whether lines are parallel or whether they are perpendicular. So, if you open this sucker up, we look here. Um, I'm going to ask you guys a couple things, right? We're talking about our slope here because slope determines the steepness and parallel and perpendicular is all about slope and steepness. Parallel basically means like side by side never touch. So therefore they have to have the same slope, right? Um, and perpendicular means they meet at 90 degrees. And so we're going to talk about how do you see slopes when they're, they're perpendicular as well. Um, so let's just look at a couple quick, uh, basically, I don't know if it's true or false, but yes or no. So these two lines here, if we have two lines where the slope is two, like, right, if I, if I somehow have like y equals 2x plus 3 and y equals 6 over 3, oh, sorry, that was supposed to be 6 over 3 x minus 1, right? 2x plus 3 or 6 over 3. Are these lines going to be parallel, yes or no? What do you think? It's kind of a... Um, Easy-ish one. What do you guys think? Are those going to be parallel lines, yay or nay? just want to look for some participation so I know you're live. People are saying yes, people are saying no. Let's look. Basically, 6 over 3, same thing as 2. Right? So would they be the same? Well, for sure they should be the same. And you can open that up in uh, in Desmos, right? And you can double check that. So let's open that Desmos up. Uh, so if I graph those two lines there, what were they? They were uh, triple triangle it is. Uh, y equals 2x plus 3. And then my other one was uh, y equals 6 over 3x minus 1. That was my other option, right? Y equals 6 over 3x. 6 divided by 3, x minus 1. Hey, oh, look at that, right? They're both the slope of 2, so they're going to be parallel. They're going to be parallel like that. Awesome. Good job. Oops, I don't want to leave. I just want to cancel that. So, yes. And it's because 6 over 3 is equal to 2. Sorry, that is the worst 3 of all time. So, the slopes are the same. I'll let you write that down. I think probably I would also highlight parallel lines, same slope. Just so you have that in your notes somewhere, I would just do that. I Well, if you are ready to move on, hit me up with a, uh, a newt newt in the chat or a thumbs up, whatever it be, and, uh, and we'll ski daddle from there. All right. 
right, so here we go. If we graphed 2x plus 4, not newt. <laughs> I'm going to assume, Owen, that means you are not ready to move on. Um, but, uh, yeah, basically, uh, newt, 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 home slice, different ones. Larissa's just question mark in general. Uh, 2x plus 4 and negative 2x plus 4, those ones are not going to be parallel, right? The slope is different. Even though they both have 2, one is negative, nice, negative. The other one is puff, puff, positive. Sorry, that's that's opposite for you guys. That's puff, puff, positive for you guys. Sorry, my thing's reversed. And that's nice, negative, right? So they'll be different. The one's positive, one's negative. So say no, they have a different slope. And I don't think I have to type that in Desmos. I think you guys would see that. No, different slope. Slope two does not equal negative two. Dur, dur, dur. Okay. Oh, did I freeze? Okay, never mind. She's good. Um, so what we're gonna do? It's it's a little. Sorry, it was blocked. Um, it's a little bit trickier when we do perpendicular. Perpendicular lines. Remember that means that they intersect, and you can just add this in while we're waiting for people to copy that down. Well, that doesn't really make sense, but at 90 degrees, right? They make a perfect like X or T or whatever it was. So if, if I asked you guys to come up with some perpendicular lines, I'm sure some of you could still do it. You might, might be able to figure it out. Um, but it's, it's definitely difficult. Um, actually, uh, the only person that was able to make some perpendicular ones, uh, somebody had posted earlier, right? If we, if we open up Desmos right now and we try these two lines here, right? If you try like Y equals zero, which is that horizontal line we talked about before, or like X equals zero, or it could be any other numbers, right? X equals two and Y equals three. Those ones meet perpendicular, right? If you just make it like X equals and Y equals, and sorry, this is a little bit, those lines are pretty small. We can make those thicker there so you guys can see better, but that makes perpendicular lines. Um, but uh, anyway, sorry, Zion, I wasn't gonna call you out. But anyways, all is good, all is good. Uh, so anyways, that makes perpendicular, right? Which is very difficult. So how do I make lines that maybe, you know, like that maybe have actual slopes, so like y equals 3x minus 2, and how would I make like a perpendicular line? A lot of people would just go, oh, it's negative 3x plus 2. But that doesn't look like, you know, one being positive and one, sorry, Zion, I'll give you credit. I'll give you credit. My bad. My bad. Um, you look at this, and if I just make one negative, that doesn't really look like 90 degrees, does it? They don't really meet. So it's not just to go, okay, one of them, we have the slope of three. The other one, we make negative three, and they'll meet at 90 degrees. Clearly, if I took a protractor, I don't have to. I think you guys are pretty smart. But it doesn't look like that's 90 degrees, does it? It more looks like a, like a kind of big, obtuse angle here and an acute angle here, right? If I took, I don't think I have a square, um, but like a 90 degrees. Remember when you little draw the little box? Um, it wouldn't work. I don't know. I don't know how to make it. I can't take my cell phone and put it on the screen in front of you, but you could do that, right? It, it clearly doesn't look like 90 degrees. So how do we do this? Well, I'm going to give you an example and show you two perpendicular lines from an equation and see if you guys can find the pattern. Maybe you already have an idea of that. So let's go and uh, open up our, our lines here. We're going to graph these two lines and we're going to see, do these look like they're perpendicular? You might already have a, an estimate of the pattern, but don't give it away just yet in the chat. Uh, try your best not to at least, or I'll put you in timeout. Um, but uh, no, I'm just kidding. I wouldn't do that. But we're going to try and graph these two. Uh, this is three over four. Uh, acute is below 90 degrees and obtuse is above, uh, acute, uh, sorry, obtuse is just above 90. Um, it's anywhere between there, anywhere between there. But yes, 120 would be obtuse because it is greater than 90. Um, yeah. And then remember, if it goes bigger than 180, uh, it's uh, a reflex angle. Uh, it's like, it's like huge. It's bigger than, uh, anyways, it's a, I think they call that a reflex angle. It's been a while since I've, I've taught like grade seven, eight angles. I had to do that one time when I was on placement, but anyways, it's been a long time. Uh, okay. So let's graph these two lines. We're going to graph them down here. We're going to graph three over four X plus one. So this would be a good opportunity for you guys to graph this. Do you think you could graph this without me? 3 over 4x plus 1. You should also be able to graph this one here. 
Remember, you start with slope is equal to, sorry, uh, not the slope. Remember, you always start with your y-intercept. Your b is equal to 1, right? So you're going to go on your y-axis. You'd graph 1, and then you're going to do your slope, which is 3 over 4. Remember, that's rise over run. So see if you can do that without me. Maybe look away for a second. Do it on your own. I'm going to graph it, and hopefully you can do the same. I'm going to go up three over four, but don't tell anyone. One, two, three, over one, two, three, four. Nice. I don't think anyone heard that. That's good. The whispering probably sounds kind of creepy. just because I want to line it up. Thanks, Zion. Is that seriously ASMR? That's disgusting. I would say take your ruler at like 37 degrees. Oh crap, that sucked. A little bit higher than that. I'm trying to do an exact job because I want it to look like exactly 90 degrees. Okay. All right. Now, hopefully you guys have graphed that. That should be y equals 3 over 4x plus 1. I was whispering, Maddie, because... Um, I wanted you guys to be able to do that on your own. But let's see. If you graph that, you can come back and check. Yeah, sorry. It scared me too. I was scaring myself. I, I snapped out of it. Now I want you to graph y equals negative 4 over 3x minus 1. And maybe do it in a different color. Maybe do it in a different color. y equals negative 4 over 3x minus 1. Yeah, you couldn't hear me. I was whispering. Disgusting. Minus a dollar for an inaudible voice. Could you seriously not hear me? I feel like you could hear me. Negative 4 over 3x minus 1. Okay. So let's graph that. Remember. Eunice, we'll have to have a vote from the audience. We'll have to, everyone vote. Eunice, stay yay or nay. I'm leaving your fate in the hands of grade nines. Good luck to you. Oh yeah, Adele. We should also have had a vote on Adele. But she didn't ask if she was going to be here. She's just going to be here. I can put Adele in timeout if you guys think. So we're going to go down 4 over 3, right? Down 4 over 3. So here we go. We're going to start here. Go down 4. 1, 2, 3, 4 over 1, 2, 3. Right about there. And what I want you to do is take a ruler and connect the dots. Ay uh Hey yo, I got it. It's about 53 degrees for those of you people that are like me that are trying to do a really good job with that. About 53 degrees. And that is the graph of y equals negative 4 over 3x minus 1. Yes, Larissa says, that's not parallel. But what do you guys think? Is this pretty close? Like, I, I didn't draw my lines perfect, obviously. But do you think that in here, that's about as close to 90 degree perfect as possible? Pretty dang close. Yeah, Adele says it's good enough. Owen's saying it's pretty close. Larissa says good. Maddie says no. Um, pretty close. Not good enough. <laughs> it's pretty good. All right. Well, what do you guys notice about our slopes here? What would you say? Is there any math words that you can you can 
state to make a pattern here. What do you guys notice about my two slopes? Eunice, let's see if a grade nine can do it. I believe in them. Yes. <laughs> They're reverse, sure. I mean, no matter what, it won't be perfect 90 degrees. So, yes, it is. It's perfect. I'm perfect. Inverted. Yay. Yay. Inverted, upside down, flipped. They're reverse. I want to answer. Okay. So, what did we call? We actually did this before. We flipped a fraction. Do you remember what it's called, Eunice? What's it called when we flip a fraction? Okay, fine, Kendra, fine, only, yes, that's true, that's true. So, Jesus is perpendicular. Triple triangle dot, the lines are not parallel and are inverted. <laughs> what the crap? Yay, Larissa, reciprocal, yay, good, good, good. Okay, so, basically, let's do our little summary down here, okay? So, the slope here, everyone come on, come on down. The slope is three quarters, and the slope over here is negative 4 over 3. So the slopes, how are they related? Well, they are reciprocal. And they are opposite signs. Yeah, sorry, Kendra. That's probably not a reasonable thing to say. I don't really know about that one. Uh, positive and negative, right? So... Basically, one of them was positive, and then the other one was negative. Reciprocals. Sorry, I suck at spelling. Ah, oh, yeah, a race. Rocals with opposite signs. Yeah, I think it's like that. So I would just highlight this just like we did before, reciprocals with opposite signs. Okay. So if I said, guys, tell me, find me a slope that is perpendicular, tell me a slope that is perpendicular to negative two. What would you say? I love baby goats. Yeah. Uh, to negative two. So our new slope would be M equals, how would you make a line? Tell me a slope that is perpendicular to negative two. You can either Edsby message it, sorry, don't Edsby message it, uh, teams it to me, or, okay, I'm seeing a lot of twos. Remember, you did change the sign, right? You did change the sign. People are spamming two like crazy. But, but did you make it a reciprocal? There you go, Sam. Breaking up from the crowd. So remember, if I said my thing is negative... Oh, sorry, that's a highlighter. You guys did good. You did good. So my question was, what if my slope is negative 2? Find a uh, perpendicular slope. Perpen perpendicular slope. So what would you do? Well, first of all, we want to make it positive, which you guys knew. So we're going to make it positive and reciprocal. Okay. So if I see two, two is the same thing as two over one. Wouldn't you agree? So this is our first step. We're going to make it positive. But the second step is we want to flip this. That's what reciprocal means. It means to flip. So instead of being two, it's going to be one over two. All right, so we're going to have positive 1 over 2. Basically, you take 2 and you flip it. 2 over 1 becomes 1 over 2. Flip it. So let's see. If I was to... Oh, sorry, I bumped. 
If I was to take here, I'm going to minimize this for a second. I'm going to make a graph where there is a slope of negative 2. Could be any graph, right? Let's close these down. I'm going to say y equals negative 2 x plus 1. Okay, here's my, my slope. I want to come up with a perpendicular line. You guys, when you first did this, you all spammed 2. So if I make an, any other line with a slope of 2, it's not necessarily perfectly perpendicular, right? It looks like it's a bit off. We're getting some obtuse and acute angles in here. So we didn't do that exactly right. What we need to do is instead of making it just positive 2, we want to flip 2. Instead of being 2 over 1, it's 1 over 2. And hey, would you look at that? That looks pretty darn perpendicular to me. I would say that is completely 90 degrees. And so that's what we did. We changed the sign. We made it an opposite sign and we flipped it. We flipped it. Let's do one more. Let's do one more. If I say I want you to come up with a line for y equals 2 over 3 x minus 1. All right, 2 over 3 x minus 1. I want you to come up with an equation in the chat or through Teams, an equation that is going to be perpendicular to that. Come up with an equation that is going to be perpendicular to 2 over 3x minus 1. See if you can do that for me. Awesome. So I see a lot of people making it negative. You flipped it. You guys all kept the same B value, but that's fine. Alrighty. So a couple things, just look at your own equation for a second here, just to see how we're doing. Uh, we wanna make sure that we are, you know, if I go up here in our new equation, we're gonna flip it for sure, right? We wanna do three over two. I think a lot of you did that. And a lot of you remembered that it has to change the sign, right? It was positive two over three. So that means we have to not just flip it, but we have to change it. So it's gonna have to be negative. I'm gonna add an X. Some of you are just missing an X. You've just forgot X, right? Um, and you see, I've already got it to be perpendicular. I technically don't need a B, right? My B could be zero. But if I wanted to change my y-intercept because I'm a weirdo, some of you wrote minus one, some of you wrote minus two. That's right, it's minus, minus two, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five, whatever you wanted, uh, that would be good. Yeah, sorry, Owen. GJ is good job in gamer talk, yeah. And I, I guess I could have said GG. Okay. I used to have uh, when League of Legends, I was I was playing like League of Legends back like when it first started, and I used to have this thing hotkeyed. So it means just like press one button and then it'll uh, type this whole sentence out um, and then hit enter. So I used to have this thing hotkeyed where it would go GG too easy noobs, uh, and I'd always type that at the end of the game. I'd just spam it like you could just hit that like crazy. Um, but then, uh, anyways, I, I I I'm sure it's still like this, but nowadays League you can't do that anymore, uh, and uh, they're like. It's like, I think if you type GG too easy, at least it did like back in like season three, four, when they changed this, maybe even season two and they changed this, but it was like, that was great, 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 great game. Well played. Or they like, they like would change what you say to something like, anyways, really, uh, really nice instead of your sassy comment. Yes, Zion flip it, but also make it negative. Yeah. Oh, and I was super toxic. Okay, sorry, I've just got a message on Teams. It's a file. 
I'm scared to click this file. It is a movie. It's not doing anything. Should it be doing something? I can't hear or it won't play. I'll have to I'll have to reload that later. Person who sent me that, I'm sorry, it just won't work right now. Uh, okay, so let's see here. Yeah, somebody sent me spyware. Okay, so it's not all. Uh, as Zion said, I'm gonna I'm gonna do um, maybe like uh, I'll do. Yeah, I can do these two. These aren't that bad. So I basically I'm I'm gonna ask you guys. Uh, find the equation that is parallel to 5 over 3x plus 1. So we're going to find an equation that's parallel to this line that goes through the point 9, 4. So that's a bit of a confusing statement. Let's look at y equals 5 over 3x plus 1. Let me show you what we're actually doing here. So I'm going to get out of full screen. Because it does, this is where it gets hard. Okay. So if I'm in, if I'm in uh, Desmos here, uh, what am I trying to do again? I'm trying to get... Uh, y equals 5 over 3x, 5 over 3x plus 1. And now you guys know how to make a parallel line, right? And basically, sorry, I'm, I'm going to also add the point on here just so I don't forget. 9, 4, one second. 9, comma, 4. Bingo. And I'm just going to full screen this uh, and I'm going to label that point. So that point is out here. Anyways, um, you guys know how to make a parallel line, right? All you got to do to make another parallel line is to basically just continue with that same slope. So y equals 5 over 3. Remember, now we're doing parallel, not perpendicular. 5 over 3x. And I can have plus 1, right? Oops, where is that? I think I keep hitting the screen. Sorry about that. Uh, oh, that's the same. That's the same line. Yeah, goof. Uh, so plus 2, plus 3, plus 4. It looks like we're going the wrong direction. Basically, I'm trying to find a line, right, that is going to go through that green dot. I got to find the B value. So it looks like I'm going to have to go negative, right? Minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5. Now, I could do this for quite a while. And here's the thing, is that this is difficult. And, and I could just keep going until we find it here. Minus 9 minus 10, almost minus 11. There we go. We finally found it. But you guys aren't going to have Desmos on a test, right? If you're sitting there, whatever. So how could you do this another way? Because it, it does maybe take a while to type all this stuff out. And it really doesn't take that much time to solve it without having to graph it. So let's see. Okay. How are we possibly going to do this? Well, what would we do is we're going to go through here and I'm going to come up with an equation, right? We're trying to think it's going to be parallel right? So parallel means same slope. So I know my new equation is going to be y equals same slope, 5 over 3x plus b. But we don't know the y-intercept that is going to make it so it goes through that point. That's what we were guessing on Desmos, right? We didn't get there yet. We're going to do that right now. So how can I solve for b? Well, we have done this before, right? We were trying to find a line given a point and slope. And that's what we have. So you guys have actually done this skill before. Remember you have an X value and a Y value. And all you have to do is take that Y value, Y is four, and our X value, which X was, what was it, times nine, and now solve for B. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through here. We're gonna get 5 times 9, and right, I'm going to write 9 over 1 so I can multiply these. 5 times 9 is 45. 3 times 1 is 3, plus B. Now, 45 divided by 3, if you do 15, 15, and 15, that's 15. I'm oh, sorry, 45, right? So, basically, 45 divided by 3 should be 15. 15 fits into 45 three times. So, 4 will equal 15 plus B. And basically, sorry, I'm just going to have to write this. We get 4 minus 15 equals B. And if you subtract that sucker, you should get negative 11. And hey, guess what? Do you guys remember when we did that over in Desmos? Our answer was Y equals 5 over 3X. And then B was minus 11. Well, that's how we could get that 
without having graphing software that sort of sense as well. Because basically you're doing the same thing as we did. I think we did this like yesterday or two days ago now. I can't remember. But basically you have a slope and you have point, a point, uh, and you solve for B. And that's what we would do. Adele, it's not economics, it's international business. But we are learning about economics. Gotta hydrate. Okay, so let's try the last one. This one's a little bit harder. Does anyone have any questions about that one? I'm just seeing uh, on Teams right now, I have a message. Sorry, again, it does not update me very well. Oh, <laughs> Kendra, you kill me. <laughs> Anyways, uh, it's BBB. For M, son. Okay, uh, so this one is harder because it's it's very similar, right? We're still trying to find a line that is perpendicular to this that goes through this point. Now, perpendicular. Remember to find a slope that is perpendicular to this line. We're going to have to do the opposite sign. and the reciprocal. So basically what I want you to do is I want you to take your slope, flip it, and make it negative, right? So our new slope is gonna be not just three over five, but negative three over five. And that's all we're gonna do. We're gonna go y equals negative three over five x plus b Right, negative three over five x plus b, and uh, and then we solve for b because we know it's going to pass through this point here. So basically, you put in your your x and your y value, and you'll solve. Now I'm going to give people a minute to copy that down, and while I'm doing this, maybe you can just straight up go ahead and see if you can finish that. Um, hey, Ethan. Benny, you already got minus four. You're a legend, dude. Ethan, my bro. Um, let me just see here. While you guys are, are trying this, I'm going to look up some homework. What did I do? Eunice, what did I do? What are you saying? What the heck about? A lot of people are getting minus four. Yeah, Ben, you're actually a legend. Quick maths, bro. Ben would never use Desmos, man. Ben is a legend. Don't You guys have no faith in Benny. Benny, don't take this crap from them, man. You're my hero. So 2 is y, negative 3 over 5, and then your x value should be 10 plus b. Okay? Uh, and so now, right, we're going to, we're going to, calculate this out. So 2 is equal to, remember that's going to be 10 over 1. So negative 3 times 10 is negative 30 over 5. Sorry, that looks like a bit of a T, doesn't it? Spill the T, son. Yo, I'm so relevant, so hip, it's crazy. Uh, and uh, we're going to have plus B. So negative 30 divided by 5 is negative 6 plus B. And look at we're going to shoot that sucker over there. We're going to add 6 to both sides, right? 2 plus 6 equals B, and your B equals 8. Wait, what? How did I get... You little dorks. All you nerds did the same thing. Or did I screw this up? No, we should add 6. So it should be 8. Mm 
negative 3 over 5x plus 8. I think probably what happened, guys, uh, is uh, you moved the 6 over and you just forgot to add. Just forgot to add. Exactly, Benny. You got to turn that negative 6 into a positive. Either way, you guys did good. You guys did good. And we could see that that works, right? Let's see. Let's check this in Desmos here. So uh, if we open up ye old Desmos, uh, and uh, do 5 over 3x plus 1, and uh, negative 3 over 5x plus 8, because remember, we're trying to find a perpendicular line that goes through the point 10, 2. 10, 2. So our end goal here, let me just make this a little bigger, is to find a perpendicular line. So those, oh, sorry, it's all jumpy. So 90 degrees, and right, the 90 degree line that comes out here, like if I was to go y equals, remember I had to flip it, so negative 3 over 5x, so that's 90 degrees, and so it clear is clear that you're going to have to add 1, no, that didn't work. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 worked, right? So we get 8, and that's how we're going to get that point to go through that 10, 2 at a 90 degree angle. So we found a perpendicular line like that. So if you were able to solve that, that's fantastic, because that saved you some time from having to type it in uh, Desmos and everything like that. So that was kind of handy, wasn't it? Uh, you were able to solve for that. That's what we did there. All right, uh, I have teams open. I'm going to see if you guys have any questions. I'm going to cut this down. I'm going to give you, because you still have, uh, we still have uh, 15 minutes where you could try, uh, actually 25 minutes, 25 minutes where you could try some work. So I'm just going to give you some options to do. Uh, I'm just going to see what uh, through here. Yeah, I love number one. I think that's really good. Number three will be great. Uh, don't do four. It'd be a waste of your time. Five is kind of a thinking one. Don't worry about eleven. Well, 15 would be a really tough one if you guys wanted to try 15. But don't worry about 16. So, anyways, uh, yeah, if you if you did want a challenge, try 11 and 15. But that's more of a challenge. So maybe maybe just for you guys that are like casual mathies, do one, three, five, and eight in these next 20 minutes. That should be more uh, more than fine. Those of you that wanted to see the questions, Eunice is saying she wants to see. Uh, here is uh, question one, right? So you can pause on question one, pause my video. I'm just trying to see that I can get that. Let me let me full screen this actually. Be a little bit easier for you guys to see. Anyways, uh, there is question one. Feel free to get those suckers down, right? Uh, there's question three. Uh, and then I asked you to do uh, five and eight. So I'll just show you five and eight quickly here. Here's number five. And there's number, oh, not eight on there. Great. So feel free, if you didn't bring your textbook home, uh, you can pause it. Sorry, I'm trying to get that to you. Just pause. And then you'll be able to get those. 
Cool. Uh, hey, guys. Uh, have a great weekend. Um, we have one more lesson on Monday. And then probably as we move forward through the week, uh, it'll be about Thursday that we're going to try some sort of test. Uh, so I'll make sure to post that in Edsby. But, uh, well, Yoon, we're going to still be, we're going to still hopefully be meeting back together. Um, anyways, and plus most of these kids uh, will be returning students if they're um, looking to come back next year for grade 10, whatever. So we'll, we'll be able to find them then. But anyways, uh, can you write the questions down on the chat that you're doing? Uh, yes, I can. I can also go um, back and show you my screen again. So the questions, page 302, number 1, 3 ABC, 5, 8 AB. Try those on full size. Yeah, but other than that, have a great weekend. Let me know if you guys have questions. I'll be sitting around here 20 minutes uh, to give you guys a, a hand with things if you uh, need it. Yeah, I miss advanced functions too, Eunice. That's my favorite class to teach other than calculus for sure. But um, yeah, no. Yeah, I, I miss you guys from last year too. Adele misses MCR3U. Yeah, have a good weekend, Kendra. Thanks so much. Thank you. See you, Jared. Have a good one, buddy. Thanks for being in class today. See you, Owen. See you, Jared. Ah, well, Eunice, no big deal. Thanks, Kathleen. Thanks for saying thanks. See you later. Have a great day. See you, Erica. See you, Lucas. Yeah, you had to suffer, eh, Eunice? All right, Kendra, I'll watch that video for sure. <laughs> oh, it's okay, Sadie. That's funny. He must have kicked you off your computer. See you, Benny. Sorry for putting you on timeout. Miss you, bro. You kill me in these chats, man. I just die laughing. See you, see you, Sam. See you, Sammy. See you, bud. Hey, thanks for thanks for being in class today, man. Appreciate that. Do, 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 do. Time out was fine. <laughs> I survived. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. I just put like the little, I press the little three dots beside your name and it says time out? Question mark. And I go, yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh Ben I know we do we do Adele for sure we do Eunice yeah Teddy you want me to play Animal Crossing with you it looks weird dude I don't know I don't know Kathleen you know what GLG is didn't I send you those videos of us doing like the dance things Anyways, guys, I got to go uh, prepare for business class, make sure I know I have uh, enough material and everything like that. I think we're doing it pretty chill today, Adele, but um, yeah, anyways, I'm, I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to end the stream here because I got to get rocking and rolling. So sorry if you guys are using this as a place to hang, you can uh, message each other somewhere else. Yeah, exactly, Kathleen. That's why the, uh, that's where we did the, uh, the twice songs. <laughs> 